What's going on guys, Auzi here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have a Marlin Future Stars card, 86 overall, not the greatest rating, but look at the card stats, 97 pace, 89 dribbling, 87 shooting, 83 physical and 80 passing. He looks insane. Now he is 5 for 10, so he's just outside the meta height, meta height is about 5 for 8 to 5 for 9, but it's an inch, so it doesn't really matter. Now medium, medium work rate, not the best striker work rate, I do prefer a high medium myself, but that means I'm just going to have to put stay forward on him and probably stay central. Now he has got a freestyle weak foot, which means if I move to that left foot, most likely the ball is not going to go in. So probably more forced onto his right foot. Yes, I'll be trying out his weak foot as well, just to make sure that the C effect actually freestyle, because sometimes EA put a little hidden gem into this guy. Now, four star skill move is going to be nice because Stan is scoop turn, and obviously the Burber spin is always going to be nice on him. He is obviously on a maximum chemistry style. He is on 10 chem, 98 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. A very, very fast player. I'm expecting him to outpace all defenders possible. Now, he has got uh, 84 attacking position, 99 finishing, 94 shot power, 89 long shots, 95 volleys, and 76 penalties. Finishing wise, he looks insane. He's got the outside foot shot. And when someone tells me that this guy has the outside foot shot, we're in, we're in for some business. Let me tell you that. Everything should be flying in inside the box. Now, he has 81 vision, 86 short passing, 82 crossing, 71 free kick accuracy, and 78 curve with 65 long passing. Now, the vision is not going to save that long passing this time because, hey... That long passing is way too low and the vision is not the greatest. But the short passing is nice. So I'm expecting these one-two plays, a little give and go should be very, very good. Now, he has got 97 agility, 85 balance, 86 reactions, 92 ball control, 96 dribbling and a 77 composure. Agility-wise, you should be turning inside and out very, very fast. Should be nice close. Uh, the ball should be nice and close to his feet as well because he has got 92 ball control. But other than that, he, there's nothing bad about his dribbling and that's what I'm expecting in game hopefully now he has got 95 jumping and 94 heading out see him being obviously 5 for 10 he will be winning headers over like 6 foot maybe but hey I'm looking more towards the accuracy because a lot of players that are 5 for 10 don't have that accuracy and he actually does so hopefully if I swing it to him near post of a corner maybe he can score it now he has got 87 stamina which means up and down the pitch he should be very very easy he should last throughout the whole game he has got 90 strength as well. And this is something you don't see every day. A person that is fast, a person that can shoot, a person that can dribble with strength. Uh, that right there is what I'm looking forward to. Because then fake shots around the corners should feel very, very nice on him. He has obviously got 74 aggression as well, which means he was going to be fighting for the ball. Maybe not win all the 50-50s, but he should feel very, very nice when uh, being aggressive. Now, I have linked him up with Vandy... Vandy... I can't, I can't pronounce it. Vandy Beak? I think that's how you pronounce it. He's linked with Manchester United. I've also got the likes of Dembele, Kante, and Sissoko on the team. I will be using Marlon in a 4-4-2. Most likely playing him up front with, I would say, Neymar simply because I will sub him on. I don't really like Felipe Anderson that much. But I want to try him in that with lone striker role as well. So I might try him in a 4-2-3-1. But let's get straight into the games. Kante to Marlon. Hill to Hill. Can I get a near post early finish? And he's hit post. From a good angle as well. Now that right there. Bit of a disappointment. It was a beautiful hill to hill. I was expecting it very nicely. And he did it perfectly. The acceleration over the hill to hill as well. But I just couldn't get the finish. And hey. If he's going to be inconsistent at finishing. I don't want to be my team. Little dummy. Ball roll to get the angle of the power shot. Maybe I took a bit too long, but I like his agility. I like the way he turns. He's super, super fast on it. And I can do all this stuff like the ball rolls, the drag backs, all of that really, really nicely. Just try I'm just struggling to kind of get the shot off right now, though. Little touch. Can I get a finish? Unbelievable. Little beautiful play there. Just linking everyone, linking everyone up pretty much. Put James to Neymar. Neymar. To Marlon and Marlon what can I say that right there it was a rocket it was a beautiful touch just to get the angle and he absolutely unleashed this that was beautiful it did obviously hit the keeper but it was the latest patch I don't know why the, the shot usually goes towards the keeper and always goes in for some reason but nice finish 
That's beautiful. Oh, I just couldn't get the finish with James. That's unbelievable. The way he's so calm and composed on the ball. I can do fake shots around the corners, little ball roll to get the angle. He does it so fast. And he it's like he's one of those people that is like top, top tier. And that's how he feels like. A little touch. Oh my God, somehow he's came away with that. Am I going to get a finesse as well? Oh, wow. Okay, I did not expect that at all. Honestly, I thought he lost the ball for a second and I was like, ah, wasn't the greatest touch. But somehow, some way, Marlon has got the ball back. He's managed to turn Rio inside out and create the space to do an amazing finish shot far corner past Van der Sar. Really, really nice. Use that pace. Oh my God, sending Rio completely out his way. Quick ball roll the keeper. Gonna get the finish with the weaker foot because it doesn't matter. Freestyle weak foot? Eh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But at the end of the day, it was an open goal, so I'm not going to really take that as like a big, big weak foot chance. But did you see him send Rio? And this is what I mean about him completely obliterating pretty much centre-backs with his pace. It's crazy to see. And it was calm and composed for me, obviously, to ball roll the keeper and get that easy finish in the goal. Little dummy. He is going to think I am obviously going to pass to Neymar. I went for the cross goal shot. Maybe I should have probably moved a little bit forward and gone for the near post shot. But I don't know. I really wanted to test out how good his shooting really is. And it was a nice shot to be fair. Van der Sar is a really nice keeper. So I didn't really expect that to go in anytime soon. But he has got that jumping factor to him. So why not try it near post? See if he wins this one. The keeper is going to come out. But we do end up winning the header and we do end up scoring it's something you don't see every day a five foot ten player with amazing jumping amazing heading accuracy out headering a keeper now i do believe that i was holding lt as well so maybe he did low-key shield off the keeper up in the air yeah it looked like he did probably made the, key the keeper miss the ball on purpose but hey either way we get a goal marlin and it's a beautiful header Oh, what a pass. That's obviously his short passing coming into play. And a quality pass like that. Daniel James, though, taking a terrible touch. Nice little tackle. Nice little play. Oh, it's beautiful. Can I get a volley as well? Oh, my God. It's a we play football moment. And it's simple as that. Marlon is unstoppable right now. He's finishing. There was one shot that he missed at the start of the game. And I sat there and said... Oh, is he inconsistent? I don't know about that one. But look at these finishes. It's a beautiful link up. He's so fast. He has a nice short passing to it. A nice like link up play. The one two plays, that's what I was meant to say. But the volley, there's no chance stopping that. Little pass through the middle. Half track back. Step into the same side. Ooh, not the greatest shot, but I wasn't expecting like a, an amazing shot. I just liked how he felt there. The half drag back, the fake shot forward. Was he going in? He actually was. The accuracy was pretty decent, to be fair. That's a beautiful drag back. Can I get a finish? Yes, I can. A top bitten finish, top netting as well. There was a zero chance the keeper was saving that. I just love his like positioning. The way he sits in front of the centre backs allows me to do whatever I pretty much want with him as soon as I give it to him. I can drag back, I can fake it one way, I can fake it the other. It's just beautiful to see. And he's finishing, it looks like it's outrageous. Oh, that's a beautiful turn and I'm just going to use the outside foot shot angle to completely make it go bottom bins. And that's one thing. Yeah, he's got a three-star weak foot, but you also have to take into account this guy has an outside foot shot trait, which means it's going to kind of, it's going to kind of like resolve in a way. Just simply take over that weak foot that he's going to be forced to do an outside foot shot when he needs to use the left foot. And that... It is just huge, and that's why I think, personally, the outside foot shot trait, if you do have freestyle weak foot, is so, so important on players. Use that pace. Get through that gap. Beautiful, man. He's also got that high strength to him, so it's going to be hard to body him. But apparently, Guardiola says, nah, it's not, mate. It's not. Okay, okay. I see you. Oh, my God. What a turn. Oh, my God. What a turn. 
Did you see how fast that turn was? The turn, the acceleration, just to give me the angle so I can RBA it across to Neymar. And you know how good his passing is. You know it's going to work out. So I, that's why, why I RBA'd it, because I know it's going to get there 100%. Now, what I didn't expect was that fast turn. The way he transitioned his body to one side so, so quick. That I've actually never seen on a player. So it is time to review him. And let me say, seven goals in two games. I don't know what else to say to you. Because this card, it, it's something else. It's something special. And if you guys don't go pick this card up, I don't know what you guys are doing. It's too, well, currently going for 240k. I bought him when it was extinct. But at the same time, he is cheap. He is not expensive, especially for a future star. He is not expensive. Now, 5 for 10. Not that bad of a height. It's one inch more than his met than the meta height. So that not an issue at all. At all. Medium medium work crate. I do prefer high medium, but the way of resolving that is put stay forward, stay central. Make sure to do that simply because he's always going to be up there. He's always going to be in front of the centre backs, which means you can touch, turn, and shoot every time with this guy. Three star weak foot. Not the greatest weak foot, I must admit, but he's got the outside foot shot trait, which kind of solves that issue of that weak foot in a way, because he's always going to be forced to use an outside foot shot. Now, the four star skill moves, the Burber spin, the, uh, what can I say, the Burber spin, the standing scoop turn, the ball roll, the drag backs, everything feels amazing on this guy. Pace wise, super fast, one of the fastest players I've actually used, and I've used Adama Traore, Daniel James, this guy is rapid, how fast he can accelerate? is a joke finishing wise unbelievable give him the ball onto his right foot the ball is going to go in the back of the net 100 now give it to his left foot without an outside foot shot angle you might have a 50 50 chance but if he's on that right foot i, I can't i can't promise i i'm not going to tell you guys it's not going to go in because it is it's simple as that short passing wise amazing short passing one two plays link up plays beautiful long passing don't do it please don't do it because that short pass, it's not great. 100% it's not great. It, is, it goes too short and it allows the defender to get it too easily. Dribbling wise, amazing on the ball. Ball control, crazy. Agility, amazing. I couldn't believe how fast this felt, how fast he felt. It was crazy to see. Jumping wise, I actually scored a near post corner with him, which he shielded off Van der Sar. And I don't know if that's to do with his 90 strength as well, but somehow, some way, he did it and he scored it. 87 stamina up and down the pitch no problem he's going to be doing that for the whole game the 90 strength now i personally looked at that 90 strength simply like no one's body in this guy off the ball now there was there was chances that he did get body off the ball time to time but i do feel like in this game if you're an attacker you do get bodied a lot off like virgil van dyke david Luiz. you're gonna get bodied off them people because they are way stronger but with marlon he was fighting for it and i've never seen a, per a person like marlon fight so hard for a ball with 74 aggression. I couldn't believe it. He was getting bounces. He was trying to fight for the ball. He was getting the ball after fighting it. And that's something something that you want in your team. Now, how, obviously, you have to give this card a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. 100%. He is better than... It, I think his name is Ikone. Ikone. I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. The guy that I just did. He's better than him. 100%. Trust me on this. You won't be disappointed if you pick up this card. But if you guys did enjoy this uh, play review, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.